Resident Evil 4 has been re-released on nearly every platform, but the upcoming Resident Evil 4 VR for Oculus might be the first time since 2005 that Capcom's seminal survival horror game feels completely new. Resident Evil 4 VR isn't some sampler running you through the best parts of the 2005 classic. This is the full game remade in virtual reality, and you'll be able to experience every area, puzzle, and boss fight in a new light. And I'll be the first to tell you that this might be the first time in a long while that I've been excited to play through the entirety of Resident Evil 4 again. Resident Evil 4 is best known for modernizing the Resident Evil formula and pivoted the series towards a more action-oriented direction. Gone were the slow-paced controls and sluggish gunplay. It introduced a new, faster third-person combat system while expanding the arsenal with new weapons and melee attacks. All of this translates well in virtual reality. If you've played a first-person shooter in VR, you'll know that if there's one genre VR excels at and potentially surpasses the console experience, it's a shooter. To this end, much of the original Resident Evil 4 experience has been remade to be interacted with. Weapons are a good example of this. All the tools a player needs will be somewhere on their person and can be grabbed as necessary. Need to pull out a gun? Grab it from your waist. Need to heal yourself? Your health items can be grabbed from your left shoulder. Pull out a knife? Holster on your chest. Reloading your weapon is done in real time as well. Your ammo is in a pouch on your left side and you'll need to physically pull out ammo cartridges and load them into your weapon. The whole experience has a learning curve, but once you develop the muscle memory, it's almost second nature. Puzzles have also been remade so they can be interacted with. One puzzle, in the church area, requires players to move different colored lights correctly to form the right shape. In the VR version, you'll press virtual buttons on the machine to move around the lights the right way. Items are also handled in a full-size virtual window where you can pick up items and rearrange them by physically moving them around. And saving your game is done on a fully interactive typewriter, which might be my favorite thing ever. Not everything is in VR though. All the cutscenes in the game aren't viewed in first person, but on a virtual theater screen. And anytime Leon does an action like climb a ladder or jump through a window, RE4 VR switches from a first person perspective to the same theater view. It's not a very elegant transition, but I understand why it was done. I doubt jumping and rolling out of a second story window would be pleasant in VR. The more serious issue is how some of the combat encounters translate into the new format. Resident Evil 4 was a much more action-oriented turn for the series, and that included adding a lot of intense mob encounters. On consoles and PC, this wasn't a problem, but in VR, the intensity and the difficulty of these encounters are substantially increased. Fighting a wave of enemies by pulling your weapons from holsters and reloading them in real time can be incredibly thrilling, but if you're partial to motion sickness, you'll likely be playing using the teleportation controls, and getting away from a mob with this kind of movement while physically managing your inventory is quite the challenge. Boss fights elicit a different reaction altogether. There's nothing quite like fighting El Gigante in virtual reality, staring up at his towering figure while shooting him with everything you have. Similarly, there's also nothing quite like seeing this entire gloomy world in VR. You can almost smell the rot and blood in the village, but there are also moments of serene beauty you can only experience for the first time in VR. If you've skipped every re-release of Resident Evil 4 because of the incremental changes made for each version, Resident Evil 4 VR is the most substantially different take on the game I've seen in a long while, and I'm eager to fully revisit this exhilarating nightmare when Resident Evil 4 VR is released this October. For more traditional shooters not in VR, check out our preview of Far Cry 6, and for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.